to create a purchase order and inventory planner based on replenishment recommendations. First, select those items, then create the purchase order. Your replenishment recommendations will show in the quantity column on the draft purchase order. If you need to, select a different vendor or destination warehouse. There's a lot of information available here at the top once we switch to advanced mode. It's important to keep your expected date as accurate as possible. It defaults based on your lead time. So here we have a 14 day lead time, but we can select that farther out if we know the shipment will be delayed. You can change the status of your purchase order. Vendor information will populate automatically. Here's where you can enter your billing and shipping address. Once you enter this, this information will populate on future purchase orders until you change it again. If you need to include additional information on your purchase order, such as your supplier or vendor SKU, check this box. Now we see vendor reference as a column here in the purchase order, and the same for barcodes. If there is a discount on your purchase order, select the discounts. If, if the discount applies to the entire purchase order, you can enter it here. Or if there is a special discount on one item, you can enter it at the SKU level. If you order in case sizes or certain multiples, you can designate the units of measurement on the purchase order. Here we originally have a recommendation of one unit, but if we have to order in multiples of 10, then we'll enter the UOM, units of measure is 10, one of those cases, and now we're ordering 10 units. When the purchase order is complete, click Save, and now your purchase order is open.